An example of a part of our building that is a continued concern for us, we have a failing roof system. Dripping ceilings and faulty systems, that's what students and teachers have been dealing with for years now at Brunswick High School. And now school officials say it is time for a change. John Rudder joins us live with a plan to replace the aging structure with a state-of-the-art school. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning, Danita. Good morning, Mike. Well, that plan would come with some help from the public in the form of a 3.9 mil bond issue. But it's important when you're talking about funding with regards to school, it's all about the breakdown because right now the only thing that's breaking down are the walls inside the school. Brunswick High School is a sprawling 340,000 square foot facility, a hodgepodge of three different buildings pieced together over two decades. It kind of makes you sad as a parent that that's what your kid is spending their entire day going to. But a walk through the school and it's easy to see time has taken its toll. This is an example of a part of our building that is a continued concern for us. We have a failing roof system. Students have to dodge garbage cans to be able to get in and out of their lockers. Missing ceiling tiles leave gaping holes exposing the school's aging heating and ventilation system and garbage cans collect rainwater from a faulty roof. And with the leaky ceilings and stuff, to me, that always makes me worry about mold. I mean, if you've got leaks, you've got mold going on and that mold is going to grow. Many times classrooms aren't even fitted with the proper equipment. Last year, my son had a chemistry class and when we walked his schedule, the chemistry class was like it. The room almost looked like it used to be a really big closet that they had transformed into a chemistry lab. It's why Superintendent Jason Niedermeyer is asking for the public's help in building a brand new facility with a bond issue on the ballot in November. We want to provide them with uh, an environment where there's flexibility uh, for learning and for teaching. The levy would cost taxpayers about $7.14 per $100,000 of home value with the average home value in Brunswick, Brunswick Hills hovering around $275,000, it breaks down to under $20 a month. If we don't do this now, um, what kind of, and especially for my daughter who's in eighth grade, what's that building going to look like when she's celebrating her senior year? But fortunately, help would come from the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, covering 39% of the project or $42.6 million, making the local share north of $66 million. It didn't make sense to us to say, we're not gonna put this in front of voters. It's $42.6 million. With cracking foundations and rippling floors due to water damage, Niedermeyer doesn't want to sink the school district with any more big ticket repairs. This project will have an impact on generations of students to come. Now, if the issue doesn't pass, the school district would have the option to put it back on the ballot come the spring or possibly explore the option of a special election, but that's a difficult process. And keep in mind that OFCC funding isn't going to be available forever. Mr. Niedermeyer saying that uh, this is essentially a $42 million coupon that the school district has to get a jump start on building this building. Danita, Mike. All right.